Okay, a lot of people wanted me to uh, take a look at the Alien Bees uh, ring light uh, close up. Um, there's a shout out to Andrew Wong. So what's happening? And all those other guys up in Canada. What's up, Andrew? Um, here we have our Vagabond uh, Mini uh, Lithium. It's three and a half pounds. It's uh, 8.8 .8, uh, amp hours. Let me unplug the unit. Okay, and let me unplug. The Alien Bees power, right there. Okay, right now I have a Nikon a D750 attached. Um, I have a little Velcro uh, adjustment that I actually have attached there. Let me undo this first and unplug my sync cord. And then I'll show you the unit to close up and what everything does. Um, now the unit does not come with this little piece of Velcro. I actually have this uh, as a little safety for the unit uh, so it doesn't move if I'm using it as a studio strobe. But here to take a look at the back of the unit. We have a model lamp on, it's full power. Uh, track means that uh, it will uh, track uh, what uh, the relevant the flash power is from 10 watt seconds up to 320. It will track it with the uh, 8 built in let me unlock the unit and show that to you. The eight built-in lamps, the modeling lamps, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we have uh, two half-moon uh, xenon tubes right here. Never touch those if you do. Uh, make sure it's not powered on and just uh, wipe it down with some uh, rubbing alcohol because you do not want any finger oils on the unit. Um, the back here, there's a lock and unlock knob and what that does is it unlocks this diffuser and uh, it unlocks this reflector so you can also use uh, of course uh, the moon unit so let me unlock that did I have it unlocked? No I have it locked. I'm going to unlock it. Did I have it unlocked? Yeah I did. And you're just a little stiff. There we go. And here's the unit. Two and a half pounds, very lightweight. Uh, it needs to be, I uh, said so the complaint that it's plasticky, um, it needs to be that way since it's meant to be a handheld unit. Uh, although you can use it as a regular studio strobe, of course. You have a uh, remote jack here, you have a test button, here we have the slider for flash power from 10 watt seconds to 320. Here we have a 1 8 inch uh, sync jack, we have a built in slave right here. And uh, here we have the on off switch, we have the power connector back here. Now at the bottom, let me unlock this so you can see. I have a screw in there right now, but this is a tripod mount. And here, of course, uh, we have a light stand mount and the locking knob. If you're using it handheld, you can, of course, take all of this off the locking knob. But it's great to actually have a, uh, a, uh, a light stand, so when your hand gets tired, you can actually plop it down for a few minutes. Um, but we have locking knob here for adjusting, uh, depending on how tall your camera is. For uh, adjusting, let me move that out of the way. For adjusting your camera vertically, right here, and we have a locking knob here for sliding your camera uh, in and out. Obviously, you have no capacity in manual focus lenses or zoom lenses to zoom them, or manual focus lenses to manually uh, focus those. So that option is not available to you for obvious reasons. Um, on the bottom of the unit that uh, the Alien Bees AVR800 comes with. You can actually position it uh, four different places here. I just have it locked in right there. So this is the unit that actually slides in and then this is a locking knob. It doesn't actually lock in, it's actually friction. Both of these are friction knobs. So they don't actually lock in so much as they actually uh, you can actually lock a uh, lock the friction in on those, which is why I have the velcro strap. Uh, if I were to use this as a studio light they could potentially slide down if I were to jiggle it too much so I have a safety velcro strap around it which you can get for two dollars at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, cycle uh, button which I didn't mention. On is full power. Track is to track um, the modeling uh, lamps which will track uh, the relevant flash. If you increase the flash power output the uh, the tracking button depressed in you go press one press two now instead of full power when you press the tracking button in it will track uh, the modeling lamps to the uh, the adjustment of the flash output and if you press the third button in cycle 
It means that after you fire, the tracking, the uh, modeling lamps will not come back on again um, until uh, it is recycled. And here you have a full recycled uh, display uh, uh, display light. Now uh, this is a dump light for if you actually drop the power, where you can actually dump the last charge or do a test there. It's saying that you've actually dropped the power from where it was previously, and it's in mode to dump the capacitor charge. So that's it. It's a one eighth inch uh, slave. This is the locking knob, as I said, for the diffuser and the reflector. All it does is it actually activates uh, two switches on outside ring and the inside here for locking in uh, the diffuser and the reflector on off switch. It is fan cooled. It is very lightweight. It is very simple. And the next uh, ring light above this is a. Uh, rather damn expensive to be quite honest with you. It does come with three additional modeling uh, lights, not with additional xenon tubes. I mean, these xenon tubes, unless you wreck them or something, will last uh, a near perdurable eternity. That's not to say that they would never break, obviously. Of course they will. Um, and I guess that's it. Uh, this with a Vagabond Mini Power, which you can uh, use even with a full uh, power Einstein, and that's it. This is uh, three and a half hours, although they say four hours to recharge. But at uh, 320 watt seconds, which is full output of this unit, I can get nearly 800 or so uh, shots out of uh, the ABR 800. And uh, you can bring additional battery packs. You can see the battery pack is a secondary unit that attaches onto the Vagabond Mini uh, power converter which is right here and the battery itself is right here so you can remove that and you can uh, actually uh, two charging ports one right here and one actually on the battery so you can charge the second battery while you're using the first or vice versa so anyway that's it that's a very close look up at the Alien Bees uh, ABR 800 uh, unique design um, very very inexpensive so there's really nothing to complain about. Uh, I absolutely love the unit. And uh, thanks for watching the video. And I'll catch you cats later.